Yeah, yeah, I know. Dragon at the end. Dun dun dun! Anything over here? Nope, nothing over here at all. Okay. Run! Faster! Faster! You are slow, man. Even when you run. Dum, 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 dum. I mean, heck, that's a fast walk. Dun. Oh. I thought that if I went slow, I wouldn't crack the bones, but I guess not. Hide in the bed, hide in the bed. I guess it's a good thing the dragon is, you know, half blind. And I know to avoid the bones then. Ah. Oh, that's interesting. I float. Woo! I don't even have to move my feet. <laughs> oh, no wonder. I did the creepy crawly just normal. And if I hold shift, I float all Very conveniently placed beds. Ugh. Yeah, you don't really want to go face to face with the dragon. Whoever designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. What do you bet? Bow and arrow, right? Oh, here's a handy bow. <coughs> Poor guy. May he rest in peace. Now, gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Let go. Let go. Let go. Ah, hey. Seriously, the dragon wakes up to the smallest things, but he doesn't wake up to that. Okay, careful walking across this. Wow, it's shoddy workmanship. <laughs> okay. Come to me. Come to me. Wasn't the dragon's head elsewhere earlier? Okay. Why am I ringing the bell? Why am I ringing the bell? Seriously, do I want the dragon to wake up? Why are dragons always sleeping on their hordes? A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. That is a jumbo steak. I mean, heck, what, what they used to make that steak? Other dragons? You're a carnivore! A carnivore!
Okay, so it alternates. Between water and a pile of bones. <coughs> Get in place. Now I come down in the water. Grandpa. Dragon Petite Four. Small dragon number four. Oh, what do you got? That's what I have to do. All right, so let's get a bed over there. Probably its owner alive. No, we don't need it over there, we need it on the other side. Go get your food. Get your food. Alright, and get in place. This should be bringing me down over there next to the mirror. Go, 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 go. While he's eating, go! Get the mirror. Get the mirror and run, dude, run! <laughs> oh, I see a crown upon my head. Dude, run. Alright, how'd that work? Ah, improbable size pockets. Oh. Go, oh God. Let me guess. You escaped with only a flesh wound. Yes. Yes, I did. It was only a flesh wound. <laughs> run, run, run. Down the middle. No. Let me guess. You escaped with only. Yeah, I escaped with only a flesh wound. Ah. I'm a video gamer, I swear. I play games all the time. Oh. Okay, I uh, was lost there for a second. Get. Okay. River raft, river raft. Woo. Oh. Uh, drip. What? There. Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I accidentally clicked out, so. <laughs> Yes, I video game, I swear. No, 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 no. Grandpa. Dragon Petite Four? Dragon Petite Four. Yeah, that voice is familiar. It's Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> In other words, Dr. Emmett Brown. Oh. Up and down, left to right. I had a lot more action pace than I thought it would be at first. Oh. <laughs> Jump! Ah. <laughs> I will make it out of here alive, I swear! Um... Okay, for a second I thought the dragon was gonna appear behind me. No, 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 no! I guess you could say... That river swept me off my feet. <coughs> uh, 
I thought I was shooting it in its eye. Yes, there we go. Mm, bless me. Oh, hang on a second. I am returned. Dude, dragon, dragon, run. End of his leash, end of his leash. Good. Run before he breathes fire. Oh. Oh. At least you can see where they're gonna fall. Oh. Run, run, little man, run. Oh, you run really funky. Ah. Whew. I survived. I got out of there with but my knickers in safely in my possession, I dreamt of the gallantry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. And out through the small door. Second, I had three choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. I have no idea which is which. Ooh, food. I don't want to hurt the poor dragon. I mean, heck, it's just an animal. Shiny. My hands were shaking, <coughs> my arms could barely grip the rope, but with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom in danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome problems to handle in my year. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that he took his lost treasure that he made you Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there's so much more to my stories than dragons. <laughs> I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams are many hidden adventures. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. <laughs> How did you know shooting the bell would distract him? Over the years, I realized <coughs> that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Davantry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was very hungry. Yes. I'd Make him a pet. I'd be violently angry if I could only eat when my neglectful owner rang the bell. I know it was a sneaky trick, but I certainly wasn't going to set a dragon loose on the town or participate in any more abuse. You really thought that through, Grandma. I would have tricked you, too. Back home, they call me Gwendolyn the Smarty Pants. You come from a long line of logically minded nobles. <laughs> Very clever dentist. Very clever dentist, indeed. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. <laughs> Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. <laughs> I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Oh, 